Listen, I've got some science tea for you that's hotter than a Hollywood scandal. Brace yourselves because the ozone over in Antarctica is making headlines by opening up weeks earlier than usual. And guess what? It's all linked to a volcanic eruption that's causing quite a stir. You want to talk about it? Let's get cryptic. Okay, now Monica, I don't know if you already know this, but the ozone hole has been on a healing journey since the 80s, thanks to the Montreal Protocol waving goodbye to those pesky ozone depleting chemicals. But check it, every year the hole does a little opening and closing dance, like the Carlton from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Usually the show starts the mid to late August when spring kicks off down south, and then it takes a final bow around November or December. Classic, right? Okay, so catch this. This year, things are getting pretty wild. The ozone hole decided to make a grand entrance right at the beginning of August, way ahead of schedule. By August 10th, it had already ballooned to over 3 million square kilometers. Can you believe that? So what's the cause of this early bird behavior? Well, let's answer the Hunga, Tunga Hunga, Ha'apai volcano in Tonga, which erupted with a bang in January 2022. This volcanic extravaganza sent loads of water vapor up into the stratosphere, which turned into icy clouds above Antarctica. Now here's where things get interesting. Those icy clouds created a party atmosphere for those pesky CFCs. By the way, chlorofluorocarbon, or CFCs for short, are those throwback sneaky chemicals that were like the party crashes of the atmosphere. They were used in stuff like hairspray and air conditioners and were causing more drama than a reality TV show. These CFCs had a knack for breaking down high up in the sky and releasing chlorine atoms like confetti candies gone wild. And let me tell you, those chlorine atoms were no joke. They were poking holes in our precious ozone layer, which is like the Earth's very own sunscreen. Sun's out, holes out. Not a good look. But don't worry, we got our act together and kicked those CFCs to the curb. We're trying to be totally eco-friendly and protecting our planet. Now, let's get back to the tea. Now here's where things get interesting. Those icy clouds created a party atmosphere for those pesky CFCs to react with ozone, making its depletion a speedy affair. Now Monica, I know you're probably worried about the wildlife down in Antarctica. Most of them are still huddled under the ice or snow, so they're keeping it cool. But if this ozone hole sticks around longer than usual, it could be bad news for those creatures and plants coming out in the spring and early summer. They won't have as much ozone to protect them from the sun's UV rays, and that is no joke. Oh, and guess what? The early opening of the ozone hole might just earn it a spot in the record books. Chris Lucas, the meteorology guru, says we might be looking at one of the biggest ozone holes ever. Talk about making an interest, right? Oh, but wait, 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 wait. There's more. This whole ordeal is creating a polar vortex, a chilly air whirlwind around South Pole, and this might lead to some cooler than expected conditions in the upcoming Aussie summer. Forget about El Nino calling the shots. We've got a tug of war happening between these two weather titans. All right, Monica, so there you have it. The ozone hole saga continues, and it's got everyone talking about the unexpected twists and turns. I don't think you can predict Mother Nature's moves. She's the ultimate drama queen. She's pulling out all the stops, keeping us guessing like a suspenseful movie plot. Now, I gotta go, so be sure to follow Cryptics Media, like this video, share if you can, and let's continue to have this conversation, and I'll see you in the next video.